Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to show you guys how to um, navigate with your tabs inside a digital planner. So after people get a digital planner I get a lot of questions like, well not even questions, I just get like messages um, such as I downloaded the planner but the tabs don't work. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to show you guys how the tabs do work because you're right. They don't work if you're just gonna like um, click on whatever, like that's not working, that's actually just writing on my stuff, but let me flip to another page that looks a little cleaner. So for the tabs to work, here I'll go on this side actually, for the tabs to work you cannot be selected on this pencil thing. If I click on that it's just gonna write things on my pencil thing. Should I be in the highlight tool? No. That's also just gonna write and the tabs aren't working. The erase tool, no, that's not going to do anything. You guys see it's like trying to do something. You see how it turns gray, like a darker gray, but it's not flipping. Here, if I'm on the lasso tool, nope, that's not doing anything either. I could screenshot this if I wanted to, like take a screenshot, and then I have my goals thing, but no, that's not what we want either. We're trying to flip through the tabs. So you have to be selected on this middle icon all the way to the right. This icon here, it kind of looks like a slash with, I don't know how to describe this, but kind of like a knife. I don't know. That's probably way wrong and not actually what it's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like to me. It's in a little circle and then you could activate your tabs. You see how I'm like clicking through on any of these tabs now. I can go to June, I could go to March. You have to be selected on that and that's the thing that allows you to navigate through the tabs. So next time somebody asks me like how do I flip through the tabs or the tabs aren't working, I'm just going to link them in this video because um, I just get so many messages and it just, it'll just be easier for me to like send back a video like here we go, this is how the tabs work because I know they work, I tested them all and I use this planner so I know they work. <laughs> and I'm not saying that they're going to work in every single app that opens PDF files, but in GoodNotes specifically, that's how you use um, the tabs and the linked tabs. That's how you use it in GoodNotes. Um, in Metamoji, it's not the same. You kind of have to like tab your own pages. Like the tabs, they're not, hi you can't use hyperlink tabs in Metamoji. They have kind of like a different feature where you have to go through the pages and like kind of link them yourself, but it's very different. So for GoodNotes specifically, this is how we use tabs, guys, okay? So make sure you're on this middle icon. I, in GoodNotes 5, it's different. So I will also just show you real, real quickly in GoodNotes 5. This is GoodNotes 4, so it's in the middle. In GoodNotes 5, this is what... Um, the new kind of layout looks like in GoodNotes 5. What just happened? Did I click on something? I don't know. Okay. Um, there's also a lot of like kinks still that need to be like ironed out in GoodNotes 5. So, but it was just like rolled out. So there's still going to be updates. But in GoodNotes 5, the icon is up here on the top right hand side. It still looks the same. It looks like a knife with a slash. So if you click on that, it makes it full screen and then you can navigate through all of your tabs, but GoodNotes 5 is just a little slower for now until they do updates, which hopefully they will do soon. So that's just how you use tabs, guys, in um, GoodNotes. So icon up here for uh, GoodNotes 5, and then you have to deselect it if you want the bar back. And then for GoodNotes 4, it's just in the middle on the right hand side. So I hope this helps you guys of how to navigate through tabs in GoodNotes and happy planning. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.